Today, I have got a very interesting case. Now, this 20 years old male patient presented to me with complaints of left eye deviation, inward deviation and decreased vision as you can see. So, I thought of it as a left isotropia. But when I examined him, his vision was 6.6 in the right eye, very good, and 6.24 in the left eye. But the thing is that when I occluded the better right eye for checking the vision in the left eye, I got surprised with rapid involuntary to and fro oscillatory movements of the left eye. You can see here the nystagmus was too fast that patient was unable to tell the vision clearly. So vision in such patients should be checked with partial optical blurring such as high plus lenses rather than complete occlusion. You can see how much fast the eye is showing nystagmus upon occlusion of the right eye. So the patient was having isotropia, congenital isotropia in the left eye, amblyopia, his vision was 694 and nystagmus. On slit lamp I found nystagmus in the right eye as well and there was rotary or uh, torsional nystagmus, torsional component as well. So on the above findings I made the diagnosis of latent nystagmus. Now what is latent nystagmus? It is a type of congenital nystagmus that is found with congenital isotropia and amblyopia. Now all the features were present in our patient so it was a classical case of latent nystagmus. Most commonly nystagmus appears only when one eye is covered when both eyes are open no nystagmus is seen that's the reason why it is called latent nystagmus and it is missed by many neuroophthalmologists and ophthalmologists it can be recognized because the eyes always move with their slow face towards the nose for the viewing eye another uh, another way you can say that the direction of nystagmus is towards the uncovered eye another puzzling fact is that the nystagmus in both eyes changes with the viewing eye so that's why you will get uh, extremely confused that uh, whether uh, the first component uh, will be sometimes on the right side and sometimes on the left side that which type of nystagmus these patients have got because they change the direction the nystagmus changes the direction <clears throat> and also patient with latent nystagmus develop a torsional component uh, to their uh, eyes when they look away from the center now that torsional component was also present in our patient you have seen um, and all now why this uh, latent nystagmus occurs its pathophysiology is due to lack of binocularity binocular development in early childhood uh, some central neurons die out so as the neurons are no longer there it is not completely curable but its speed can be reduced with gabapentin and pregabalin plus as nystagmus increases in bright light use sun shades and also we corrected the refractive error in our patient so the best corrected vision in the left eye became 612 and advised him to advised him to make it in darker shade for isotropia you can clearly see isotropia large isotropia in the left eye surgical correction with large recessions will further decrease the intensity amplitude of this latent nystagmus so that was an interesting case i saw today in my clinic and i thought i should share with my viewers I would like uh, your input uh, in the comments uh, section. Thank you very much.